first thing first when you have, want to apply for a loan first you have to apply to the university my youtube channel it's your favorite girl florence if you're new please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you're a tennis subscriber thank you very much to come watch my video so in today's video it's a very important video it's as you have seen from the title below uh it's a process on how you can get a bursary in zambia so you guys make sure you follow my step you watch this video from the start and to the end because i'm gonna give you the best tip ever so let's get into the video. I just want to share with you the process on how you can get a loan in Zambia. So I know a lot of people are looking for this opportunity because not everyone can manage to pay their school fees. Okay, so first thing that you need to do, you have to apply to the University of Zambia. So there are three schools which you can apply to. You choose one, the School of Education, uh, School of Natural Sciences, and School of Humanity and Social Sciences. So if you apply and you get your admission, uh, you're going to, you are supposed to go, I'm going to advise you to go to Facebook. There's a page uh, for higher education. This page is where they post most of the scholarships. So on Facebook, it's written the name of uh, higher education. It's written the higher education loans in scholarship in Zambia. Okay. So these, uh, they give, different type of scholarship, international scholarship. For example, Russian government scholarship, Moroccan government scholarship, China scholarship. Uh, for India, they always, they put different type of international scholarship uh, as well as local. So if um, they will put for University of Zambia, CBU, Kwame Kuluma, it depends where you want to go and where you want to apply to. It's your own choice. So let me talk about the eligibility. So I've written the points down because I don't want to miss anything. So eligibility, they're going to put uh, Zambian with green registration card, uh, school leaver admitted at the University of Zambia, of course. So school leaver completed in 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. So if you completed in 2016 or you completed in 2021, you won't be eligible to apply for this loan and the other important thing is you have to be 24 years or, or below before the by february 2022 so meaning if you're 20 uh, 25 they won't take you okay so these are the things which you need to consider and the other thing is method of application so i'm going to talk about method of application later so let me just continue so after you you see the qualification uh, things which you need to do for you to be accepted like for this loan you need to go to social welfare okay so at the social welfare so make sure you make copies of your nrc your your results and you certify them okay and again you need to carry a document which is going to show proof at the social welfare that truly you can't manage to pay the school fees so for example you can carry a death certificate or a medical medical certificate to show that maybe your parents are sick or anything and the other thing is that you can also you can also if your mother is a marketeer or maybe your mother is having a small business they can write a, a letter to the social welfare through their the community you can get a letter from the community and you can uh, show the, to the social fair that uh, truly you can manage to, the mother, your mother can't manage to sponsor you, okay? So after that, uh, you've read the letter, the social fair is going to write for you the recommendation that if you accept it, you've shown proof that uh, really you can't manage to pay those school fees. They're going to give you a slip, a strip like this, like this, a slip like that. It's a recommendation letter which you're going to attach together with your 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 school result, admission, and things which are needed by the higher education. So once you're done uh, at least social welfare, because again I'm going to do a video, there are questions at the social welfare which they're going to ask you. Okay, so I'm going to do another video. Make sure you can check it uh, so that you're able to answer every question at the social welfare which they're going to 
ask you. So you're going to find these questions. So after we are done with the social fair, you are going to now it's time to take the application to to the worst is to the to the higher education. So these are the things which are some of the things which they need for you. You need to have the photocopy of the 2021-2022 academic year admission, uh, a photocopy of grade 12 result or a certificate. Then again, you need to have two size photos of the of two size photos. Then again, the level of loan which you want. Don't forget to write a motivation letter because they also want a motivation letter. Why are you applying for why are you applying for that loan? Okay. Yeah. So having that, you've done everything. You've done um you're going to take uh, the application letter. Two long acres. This is where it's located, the higher education uh, scholarship board. You're going to find it in long acres. So you're going to tell, they're going to guide you how you're going to put your papers. After you put the papers, you apply. And again, you're going to wait for some. You need to be patient because it takes some time for them to call you again, like for you to see your names. They always post the names. When the names comes out, if you qualify, they post the names on, on their page, on their Facebook page. This is the reason I've said you need to like that uh, Facebook page because it's really going to help you. Even if UNSA doesn't pick you, you can even uh, you can even try other countries if you want to study abroad. Those who have, those who have, who's been wanting <laughs> to us is to apply abroad. They always give full scholarship. You don't have to pay any, for anything. They're going to pay for your flight. They'll pay for for your school fees. They'll give you some money for food. It depends with uh, the type of scholarship they're going to give you. So make sure if uh, they leave you at once. I don't be discouraged. You can try maybe CBU or maybe try Russia. You try um, Morocco. It depends where you want to go. Even if you don't have a dream to go out, you can usually go out. The only thing that you need to do, you have to put the passport. Like the passport is the main thing which can let you go out. So you have to put the passport. You make sure you get your passport ready and everything. You don't know what might may, what may happen. Okay? So after you've applied, next you have to go live on the page. So after you've live on the page, uh, on the page they're going to uh, post the day they're going to be registering for accommodation at Unza. So you have to when 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 applying there, you have to put um, an address which is not you're not from Lusaka because mostly they give people they give accommodation to people who are not who are not in Lusaka. Okay, <laughs> so make sure you put that and make sure when you're feeling, don't miss any point because you can't say this address here, then you put another address here. They're going to disqualify you because they will know that this person is just cheating here at first at the university. You just find cheating. Hey, they're going to disqualify you and you're not going to, you know, accommodation can be expensive, it's super expensive. Because most of the people they pay five hundred and above. If you find for five hundred, it's very affordable. People pay accommodation one thousand, one thousand five hundred, one thousand eight hundred. It depends with the, the type of apartment they want to rent. And renting can be stressful. You don't even have money. How are you going to pay your rent? So you just have to apply for this accommodation. Luckily, they're going to give you the accommodation if you've been picked. Again, the names are going to be posted on the page of Unza. So this is how it's done in Zambia. So make sure you follow every step. Every step I've said in this um, in this video is very important. And even if they leave you, don't feel discouraged. I've, I've always advised, I'm advising, try other things. Like you can try another, 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 another university. You can show it to apply to them. Maybe they're going to get you or maybe they are going to not accept you and for those who apply outside the country mostly they end up <laughs> being depressed me being disappointed if in algeria they leave you you try china you try different you try morocco maybe in morocco they're going to to pick you don't feel discouraged because you have to when you're applying you know what you want yeah you know what you want so you keep fighting you keep applying until you one day you'll be picked it's not like every day they'll be leaving you they can't do that. You guys, thank you for watching this video. And make sure 
the next video which I'm uh, uploading is what questions do they ask at the social welfare when you go there. Don't be scared. It's, they're just simple, simple questions. So make sure you watch my next video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because it's going to help you. It's going to guide you on how you can apply for your bazaar. You'll be, if you want to see you go in the application, you'll be just be following step by step. You just follow this video step by step. It's going to help you. So if you're going to get a bazaar, uh, you come here, you comment down below telling me that I got, I got the bazaar because you... I followed your video and everything. So if I've forgotten anything, guys, kindly comment down below. You can help a so you can help anyone to get a loan. You know, everyone can't manage to pay for social fees. Okay, so I love you guys. Bye bye.